Chris. Great job with the navigation. You got us to the ferry. That's awesome. On the plus side, we're here, but the ferry's over there. Looks like we're turning around and going back the other way. <laughs> Perfect. Man. You know, red lights, red blinking lights kind of scare me. I know. Me. Those are kind of dangerous. You could get rear-ended by somebody who doesn't know what to do. I mean... You could go when you think it's clear, but somebody be texting and didn't see you. Uh-huh. That could be really dangerous. Yeah, absolutely. This is... You could get hit and in injured. You know, if you got hit and injured, what would you do? Call Rick Stewart. SCMotoLawyer.com. Absolutely. We'll He's put... a motorcycle guy. He knows exactly what we're talking about. We should uh, put his information up on the screen so people can screenshot it. Yeah. And then if they get in trouble, like something happens, they get rear-ended at a red light, they can call them. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, I like All right. That. Does, does it look clear to you? Looks good to me. All right. We won't need Rick this time. Let's go. All right. Okie dokie. It's a nondescript little place that just has a sign above the door that says restaurant. But we found us a place to eat in the little town of Sherbrooke. Beautiful little place. Nothing like a cup of tea to warm you up after a chilly morning ride. What is your name? Darlene. Darlene. That's a pretty name. Thank you. Have you been here forever? Yeah. Pretty much. Pretty much? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what is the deal with the little thing in town? Is there like a festival going on? No, they have a market, but they do have music. Oh yeah, yeah. they saw some live music. Yeah, over at the market. Mm -hmm. and it, but it looks like there's like a little, I don't know, like a village that's been recreated or something. Yeah, the old fashioned sugar village. It's right over by that. We don't know anything about it. What is that? Well, it was back in the 1800s. Uh -huh. They got all the buildings and they have guides. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Like people dressed up in a costume yeah. like it was back then? Yeah. Huh. So school, school and the jail. As well. Oh, that's yeah. neat. Huh. Yeah. Well, if we weren't in a hurry, we could go do that. Go check it out afterwards, maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, it's pretty interesting over there. Is it? Yeah. Mm, so cool. Buildings. Huh. I think I'm going to try your liver and onions. Like that with mashed or fries? Mashed, please. Yeah. Not enough ketchup like in the bottle. Yes, <laughs> Oh, perfect. That so. just does not look as healthy as theirs. <laughs> Is it really? I'm just going to get a salad if there's chicken in it. You're having chicken for lunch with a salad. That's <laughs> not fair. That's cheating. Maybe one of the boys will be, have pity on me and give me some fries. Yes. Maybe I'll <laughs> <laughs> May I steal the ketchup for a moment? Thank you. Bon appétit, gentlemen. Mm -hmm.
must be in here, but I don't see. What are we looking for? Oh, there it is, marmalade. Marmalade. There it is. South Carolina. Oh, wow. And we heard of this amazing place called Marmalade. <laughs> so we drove 12,000 miles. <laughs> Halfway around the world. Halfway, Halfway around, around the, the world. world. <laughs> Listen, guys, I want you to meet my new friend, Zoe. By the wow. way, I have a niece named Zoe. She's oh, adorable. Awesome. So Zoe's parents moved from big city, Toronto, yep. in Ontario. and started this place. Middle of nowhere. Yeah. During the pandemic. Yeah, in the middle of the pandemic, so 2020, uh, oh. my parents decided uh, to move all the way out here. Um, mom was working for a big corporate job. Um, mm -hmm. Not a with great a bad job, boss. With a bad boss, and dad worked. Say no out. to bad bosses. <laughs> yes, no. Um, dad worked for the family at Royal York in Toronto, and got laid off because of COVID. Because mom was staying in the hotels. Mm -hmm. Uh, they both wanted to, you know, have an Airbnb or something like that in mm -hmm. hospitality. Mm -hmm. And it kind of just lined up perfect timing. We found this place that has the house and the motel attached with nine rooms. Oh, I didn't know yeah. that. Yeah. So it's the motel and then just down the hill is the house that we live in. Okay. And they packed everything up and moved us out. We have no connections to Nova Scotia whatsoever. Mm -hmm. um, I was in the middle of high school and we moved out here. And then in October, uh, Rebecca, who was the old owner of this place, mm -hmm. reached out to us. Mm -hmm. and she asked if we wanted to buy it, and we did. So we bought it. It was under the Harborside Coffee House, mm -hmm. that was the name. Mm -hmm. We closed down for eight days in December, and we completely renovated it. So wow. right here, where everything is right now, uh -huh. that actually used to be a room, no like a private room. Yeah. So the cash and everything and the display case was in this yeah. corner oh. um, and it was set up really odd so right by where our wall is yep. with the password that actually used to be where the counter was ah. so this is so when, much more open yeah and friendly. yeah so it was really weird when you had to you know check out someone mm -hmm. would be like sorry i have to go to the bathroom yeah, you get yeah. knocked in the yeah. face with the door uh -huh. yeah huh. it was very odd but it works a lot better plus this way you can keep an eye on Goofy motorcyclists, in case they try to sign and dash. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, that is one thing when I was reading reviews online and we were pretending to come this route that I picked marmalade for because it specifically said, you know, like this is gluten free, mm -hmm. you know, good ingredients, local. Yeah. It's not, you know, crap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So there's actually a lot of gluten free people here. Mm -hmm. um, so we always try to have at least one gluten free cake. We also try and have our specialty items in, whether that be, you know, scones or, you know, a homemade coffee cake. We try and uh, switch it up every now and then. Sure. Uh, and they sell like that in That's a small cool. community like this. Yeah. Very cool. Well, I uh, almost always get chai tea latte, and this is one of the best I've ever had. Really? No That's joke. good. And I love that you put it in a real mug. Yeah. I hate, you know, drinking a great drink out of paper or plastic. Yeah, it's one thing, you know, to take it to go and whatnot, and it's a paper cup, but mm -hmm. when you're here and you're sitting down, you want to have, like, yeah. you want to sit down, you, you want like to cross home. your legs, and, you know, <laughs> be all nice and cozy with your cup and your cake right. and whatnot, yeah. Well, so I'm going to ask you to do me a favor, yeah. look in the camera, <laughs> say your name, and tell the people who are watching what you love to do the most. Well, I'm Zoe McLean. I work here at the Marmalade Cafe, and honestly, the best thing about this job is probably making lattes. I've always seen people, you know, in Starbucks make them, and now I get to make them myself, and I'm a huge coffee fanatic, so I absolutely love it. <laughs> Thanks so much. Oh, you're so welcome. That was fun.
coming through the solar system now. This planet's going to somehow. Eclipse is going to the world Destroying everything in the pearl The pearl He named down the golden tree In front of the mountain way you see There's something on the mountain way you see When traveling around Canada, you must stop in the Muscadabit Harbor Railway Museum. All of the gas lanterns, all of the things that they used, the transcriptions and the notes that they made, all of the flags and the model here, but one of the best things that you'll ever see. Follow me. Can you hear me now? Steve? Steve? This man has the job of separating cars for all trains. To do this, he orders the cars to be pushed up this hill, called a hump. When they are over the hump, the cars roll downhill all by themselves. Rich problems. Broken. On the hump, a man separates one car from another by pulling out the pin which holds them together. That's a big river. I guess I gotta keep these things up tall for uh, all the big uh, Supermax ships. And cargo container, whatever. Yep. Panamax. This is cool though. We are entering uh, Halifax, Nova Scotia, but um, you guys know us. We do not like cities, so we're just skipping on through and heading to Peggy's Cove. Already got you a campsite and everything. Oh, yeah. Neptune's campsite right on the water. Gonna get us a beautiful sunset tonight, I think. Got all the makings of it. Boy, as that sun comes down, it's getting a little bit on the chilly side. We only have, what, three or four people navigating at this point. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go, King Neptune's campground. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> <Comes up fast. laughs> Woo. Nice cut, nice cut. <laughs> Visitors, report to office. There's the office. Uh, so we need to turn around. Or pull over or whatever you want to do, but we have finally made it. Woohoo! Hey, she's down here talking to us. Okay. Alright, we'll go back up. Cut, cut. Cut, cut. Sunday. Oh, I see. I thought it's because you had the 
fire pit and they had to bring the drinks. <laughs> I'll tell you what, you're not paying for it and I'm not paying for it. It's my turn. Well, I'm not paying for it. Uh, well, well you, we certainly would expect You that. paid <laughs> for part of last night. Okay, who are we making pay for it then? Paper, rock, scissors, Is shoot. Is it my turn? Steve, I like that. Paper, rock, like scissors, that. shoot. Well, I'll give you the rules then. All, All right. right. Your husband's name is Paul. Yeah. And your name was? Joyce. Joyce. And you're a Smith. I'm a Smith. You're a Smith. And I, a, I only married into them. I appreciated your friendly demeanor on the phone. That is such a Now nice... that you're here, I want to go to change. <laughs> <laughs> we do high school hockey and four, three grandkids playing hockey. So oh. we just go ring, 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 ring. ring. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. So one of you is deciding that you have the rules. <laughs> Just like the doctor side, you can't make it out anyway. Okay, guys, you're going in one side together. Okay. Don't fight. And no she kicking, no, no, no guarantees, no biting. No climbing on the play structures. I'm afraid you might fall off and hurt yourself. <laughs> Pets must be on a leash. We don't so have a leash. I do. <laughs> Sad